Welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. In today's show, we're going to break down the latest trade rumors surrounding Damian Lillard because Dame sat down with Showtime Sports The Last Stand and talked about what's coming up for him this summer, his future with the Portland Trailblazers, and two teams that he sees himself as a potential member of coming up this summer if a blockbuster trade does go down. And first off, I just want to get this out in the open. The Blazers... They have to trade Damian Lillard. It is time for them to accept reality that it is going to be almost impossible to build a contender this offseason. I know they have that number three pick in the NBA draft. They also have a pick in the 20s that comes from the New York Knicks via the Josh Hart trade. So they could, in theory, make a couple of trades. But can they still build a championship contender around Damian Lillard? I don't think they can. I think this is a golden opportunity for them to hit that reset button. Get a young player that you can rebrand as the face of this franchise with Damian Lillard out the door with pick number three. Take a good player in the mid-20s with that Knicks, Knicks pick and get rolling. You have a good nucleus of young players on this roster and just hit the ground running and get roll, re-rolling that way because I really think the Damian Lillard winning days in Portland are long behind him, and I think that he has earned the opportunity to go win and play somewhere else and chase that coveted Larry O'Brien trophy. Damian Lillard, when he sat down with the last stand, the host said, if you thought about a couple of teams, who would they be? And we'll talk about that as to where he could be traded. But first, he wanted to get it out in the open that he does want to return to Portland. Dame going classic, classic Dame, saying, I want to have the opportunity to win in Portland. And right now, we've got an opportunity asset-wise to build a team that can compete. That would be the number one thing. But if we can't do that, then obviously, like I've said for months now, then it's a separate conversation that we would have to have. So I want to ask you guys this question and get your thoughts down in the comment section early on in today's show. What should the Blazers do with Damian Lillard. Should they keep him? Should they build around him yet again and try to compete in the Western Conference? Or is it time to move on and hit that reset button? Look, if I was the Blazers, I wouldn't be happy with Dame pretty much holding us hostage saying, if you're not going to compete, trade me. Um, but he's also done a really good lot, a lot of good things for that organization. So I want you guys to sound off. This will be the pinned comment on today's show. What should the Blazers do with Dame? Type T for trade, K for keep. If you get hit with that YouTube ad break, scroll on down and let me know. So on the last stand uh, via Showtime Sports, the host asked me, said, Damian Lillard traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Damian Lillard traded to the Brooklyn Nets, to the New York Knicks, to the Miami Heat, and the Boston Celtics. And he said, Dame, which one or a couple of these teams and these situations sound at least accurate? And this is what Dame said. He said, Miami. Obviously, Miami is the obvious one. Bam is my dog. Brooklyn is another obvious one. Mikel Bridges is my dog too. Both of them have capable rosters too. And I agree with Damian Lord that I do think those are the two most likely trade destinations if a deal were to happen. And I think both the Nets and the Miami Heat could put together really appealing trade packages. And I think if you're the Blazers, the Nets are intriguing. One, because they have a lot of young talent, like Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, Nick Claxton, and Dorian Finney-Smith. I don't think Mikel Bridges would be in that pick. And with Cam Johnson being a free agent, a restricted free agent, that trade would most likely have to happen after the NBA draft. But if the Portland Trail Blazers decide that we want more of a pick-heavy package, I think the Brooklyn Nets are the avenue they are going to roll with, considering they have all of their unprotected picks. They just got four unprotected picks from the Phoenix Suns, and they could just offer more in that type of trade. But if you're looking for more pieces that you can build, I think, a franchise around quicker, I think the Miami Heat are the team that makes more sense for Portland, because you can get a guy like Tyler Hero, Caleb Martin, and Nikola Jovic. And if you wait until after the NBA draft, which doesn't sound all that crazy in my opinion because Portland already has that number three pick. They have a pick in the mid-20s. And how many first-round picks do you actually want in one singular year? What about a deal of Tyler Hero, Caleb Martin, and you get Nikola uh, Jovic? Hero, 
uh, six man of the year, could potentially be an all-star down the road. And we don't know what Caleb Martin is or isn't because the guy has been one of the best players in this NBA playoff stretch so far. And he's been a catalyst for the Miami Heat. So I want to ask you guys this question before we map out a trade package. Which destination do you think makes the most sense for Damian Lillard if he does get traded from the Portland Trailblazers? Is it the Miami Heat? Is it the Brooklyn Nets? Type MIA for the Heat or BKN if you think he's going to be a Brooklyn Net. Before we get rolling more in today's show, I got to tell you guys about our awesome sportsbook partner, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. And when you use the promo code chat125, they're going to hook you guys up with 125% deposit bonus so when you go to this link chatsports.com slash bet let's say you put 100 bucks into your account and then you use the promo code chat125 you're going to have 225 bucks in your account to place wagers with you can bet on the nba finals the mlb season is really starting to heat up and before you know it the nfl season will be here so get hooked up with bet us win real money play place bets on real games because bet us we've got your game chatsports.com slash bet remember promo code chat125 if I am the Portland Trailblazers, I believe the Miami Heat make the most sense because I believe you can get the best player coming back to Portland in that trade. You can get either Caleb Martin or Tyler Hero, whichever one of those guys you think is better, but I don't think that the Brooklyn Nets would want to trade for Damian Lillard if it cost them giving up Mikel Bridges. I am almost confident in saying they will not trade Mikel Bridges. So the best player you could get back potentially in that deal would be Cam Johnson or Nick Claxton. I think Hero and Caleb Martin are both better trade assets. And let's say that the Miami Heat do end up losing to the Denver Nuggets. They're going to have to shake things up because they have a small window to win right now with Jimmy Butler. And what about if you could form a big three? I know we're talking Miami Heat. We've talked big three before. Shout out to LeBron. But what about this big three? Damian Lillard, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo. I honestly think this team might be better than the one that's in the NBA Finals. Obviously, you got to tighten up the depth, and you got to get some of those more Spolstra role players, but I don't doubt that they could do that at all. And the thing with me is the Miami Heat are in a way better spot to win right now, obviously, than the Brooklyn Nets. And Dame's whole point about leaving the Portland Trailblazers is about winning. He wants to win. And as much as I love Mikel Bridges, I think he's one of the most intriguing young and best players in this league, I don't know if Damian Lillard and Mikel Bridges and kind of the supporting cast that the Brooklyn Nets have – really puts Dame in a spot to where they can compete at the top is, at the highest level in the Eastern Conference. Whereas if you have Dame, Jimmy, and Bam, I think that might be the team that could be coming out of the East yet again in 2024. Dame is still an elite player, no doubt about it. He actually had his highest scoring season this past year. Just played in 58 games last couple of years. The injury bug has started to bite him just a little bit. Playing just 29 games in 2021, just 58 games this year. You have to wonder if Portland was really in contention in the West down the finish of the season if Dame would have played in more games. But no matter how many games he played in, the guy averaged 32 points, 7 plus assists, and had one of his most efficient seasons from the floor. 46% from the deck and 37% from downtown, the dude is a bucket getter. He's a clutch player. He is the definition of a point guard that can get you buckets, create offense for others, and carry this team. And I think that's sometimes when you watch this Heat team, when they go through these stretches of not scoring, you could use a Damian Lillard three where he pulls up from 33, 33 feet and gets everybody rocking. Also, Dame, although hasn't had much playoff success, he's been great individually 26 points per game six assists almost five rebounds 46 percent from the field and almost 45 percent from beyond the arc you don't really shoot see people shoot 45 percent from three in the playoffs Damian Lillard is going to go down as one of the best three-point shooters to ever wear an NBA jersey and deservedly so and the reason that I also think Miami is the best destination is because he'd have the best coach in the NBA. And Eric Spolstra is no stranger to coaching top talent, and especially big threes. I think that he would be able to get the absolute best out of a trio of Jimmy, Bam, and Dame. I keep saying that so much, I already feel like it's going to happen. But um, I don't want that to happen as a fan of a team in the Eastern Conference. But it's not going to be cheap for Miami. They're going to have to pay a pretty penny. So I want you guys 
to digest this trade right here. It's, it's going to cost a lot. And honestly, this may not even be enough. I think it'd be a really strong offer, and I think the Blazers would heavily consider it. But man, if they're going to upend their franchise player, their leading scorer, they're going to want a whole lot. And this is a whole lot. Tyler Hero, Nikola Jovic, Caleb Martin, and three unprotected first-round picks. If I was the Portland Trail Blazers, I wouldn't want the 2023 First round pick. I already have that pick number three, and I have a mid pick in the 20s. Uh, pick 18 for the Miami Heat this year. How many top 30 guys do you want coming out of a draft? Whereas you could kick that down to next year, and then you could have multiple picks, multiple first round picks, and multiple drafts for the upcoming future. I think this is a deal that would make the Miami Heat another championship contender. I think it would be a strong foundation for a rebuild for the Portland Trailblazers. So I want to ask you guys who wins this trade? If this deal were to go down, who would be declared the winner? You let me know. Type M for the Miami Heat. Type B for the Portland Trailblazers. I want to hear from you down below. As always, we appreciate you guys for tuning in to NBA Now by Chat Sports. With the NBA Finals going down, we've been doing watch parties every single game. So if you're looking for live, interactive, and informative coverage of the NBA Finals, subscribe. If you want a live NBA free agency hub, we're your spot. And if you want to stay up to date on everything surrounding the NBA, when it comes to news and rumors, hit that sub button right now. St uh, thanks for stopping in. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm.